Welcome to sunny, hot Australia. And well, can't see me. And welcome to another video here from the off-grid garage, of course. Well, as you can see, we've got clouds, only two amps going into the battery at the moment. But um, this video is not about the weather or how much power we can charge we can charge into the battery. It's about a little detail inside our battery box called the BMS battery management system, which should actually take care of the health of the battery, of the cells, should monitor everything, and in an emergency, over voltage, under voltage, should also turn off the charge or load yeah, to protect your battery. That's the main purpose of the BMS. A while back I decided to buy the QUCC BMS with a relay inside to protect my 16S battery pack here, 48 volt battery I've just built. And one of the reasons was because it had this relay inside and I thought this is a very good idea instead of using uh, MOSFET transistors which are getting really hot when you push a lot of current through them. And also it came with a 200 milliamp balance current for each cell, which I thought is 10 times more than Delhi BMSs, any other BMSs out there. Usually the balance current is very, very small in these BMSs, so I thought, well, this is good. And it has a 200 amp, so maximum power throughput, so to speak. And this was a very high current for my for my application here because I'm running only 100 amp fuse inside the battery and will use only about 50, 60 amps maximum with my inverter set up here. So 200 amps gave me plenty of space to expand my system later on with bigger inverters and more batteries and everything. I so, thought, yeah, this is a good investment. Buy this QUCC BMS from AliExpress and you're good. And also it was cheaper. Well. That's probably an indicator not to buy it. Well, it was cheaper than all the other BMSs out in the market. Uh, $144, including shipping here to Australia. Took about four weeks to get here. Well, you have seen the other videos when I installed it, no problem at all. The, the app is running fine. The app gives you all the information, all the configuration, no issues at all. Yeah, well, why should I make a video about the BMS then, you are asking? Exactly. Well, just watch these upcoming clips here, what I experienced so far with the BMS. Yeah, I was just outside for a moment and came in and could hear the BMS beeping. So looking at the protection, it says cell over voltage times one. So this has just kicked in and we had an over voltage of 365 here on cell 11. So I cranked it up to 20 amps again now. This is so high. Unbelievable. And all the other ones, they cannot catch up for some reason. It takes forever. Ah, the BMS has totally shut off now. So it's only the inverter and solar. And you can see the inverter does not go up in smoke. Even the BMS has turned off our battery now because of over voltage but the solar charge controller is not taking any harm of just being connected to the um, solar panels. Some inverters cannot do this. I know the GN, GN, GA stuff here can do it as well. Uh, this one cannot. Uh, this one goes up in smoke immediately. And I had one of the other PWM controllers, WPM, what is it called? This was my first controller here for $11 or something. Yeah, it went up in smoke after half an hour because I disconnected the battery. <laughs> but this one, no problem at all. If the BMS turns off, the inverter stays on, controls your solar, but it's not charging. Jeez, just came back in the garage after 15 minutes and the BMS is beeping. And I said, we've got a high voltage cell again or something but no it's not that i don't i don't know what it is here all the cells are good there's nothing high voltage and having a look at the protection it says short circuit times one there was no short and here on the dashboard it says like something like protection charge charge i cannot read this charge it's halfway hang on there's another basic information down here 
Sell Undervolt, Hitch, no, 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 no. Yes, charge timeout close. What? What? What the heck is a charge timeout close? English! I don't know what that means. Charge timeout. What does that mean? What? I don't know what that means. I looked in all the settings here. I cannot find any charge timeout settings or something. I have no idea what that means. Charge timeout close. Okay, what I want to do is I turn off the charger for a moment and see if this makes a difference. So charger is off. Zero amps. Um... We turn off the load as well. Still beeping. I don't know what it means. I've got no freaking idea what that means. I, I just pulled the cables now. I have no other option here. This one is off. Just reset the BMS. Bring all these tiny plugs back in here. All right, are we good? Okay, enable charger. Yeah, now it says charge, timeout, close, no. Whatever that means. I am in contact with the manufacturer of the BMS and they wanted some screenshots of my settings here because the BMS did not turn off when we reached the 3.65 volt over voltage. And the BMS should have turned off charging at this point of time, but it didn't. It kept charging with 10 amps from the solar charge controller. And I think this is wrong because when we hit the over voltage threshold of 3.65 volts, it should stop charging because otherwise it overcharged its, the, the battery and the cells, which it did yesterday. Over voltage and the BMS is not stopping the charge for some reason. It was on 3.7 volt cell number six but it was still charging now it stops beeping at least uh, not sure why the bms doesn't turn off the charging it should right so i've connected the um, capacity tester now and discharging the battery again quickly so it doesn't take any damage 3.7 is not too bad uh, i don't know why the bms is not behaving like it should I'm less and less happy with this BMS actually. Well, this morning it beat for no particular reason. See, and it tells me cell under voltage times 8, cell over voltage times 12, and short circuit times 1. There was never been a short circuit or anything like this. So I'm not sure what it claims here. This is a bit stupid, really. It had this charge timeout close before when it beeped, whatever that is. And because you don't get a a manual for that you don't know what that is so we are now under three point well that's disappointing why is it not turning off the charge okay let's try this again so disconnect the capacity tester it it should turn off the relay inside and disconnect the charger but for some reason it doesn't Okay, 3633. Let's see if we can hear any click or something. We're still charging with 10 amps. Beeps. Yeah, there was a click. But there's still power going in. Look at this. It's still charging with 8 amps, 7 amps. And see, it's overcharging the cell now. Still 13 amps into the battery and is still charging and not turning off the charge so the bms is totally useless totally useless okay let's quickly turn on our discharge unit discharge this battery Why is it still beeping now? Why is it still beeping? We are under 3.6 volts and it's still beeping. What's going on? Again, it has this charge timeout close. 
Whatever that means, this is the alarm again. That is super annoying. Wait for it. Zero volts, zero amps. Capacity tester stops, but the circuit breaker is closed. I have to push in this lever here again. And then it starts. This is so shit quality here, it's unbelievable. Don't ever buy one of these circuit breakers. They are not working at all, not at all. Yeah, guys, what do you think about this? So I think the BMS is totally useless in this form because it does not disconnect the solar charger if one of the cells uh, has an overvoltage situation. Uh, the, the, the threshold of 3.65 volts is apparently only an alarm which goes off. You can hear the beeping of the BMS, but it does not disconnect the actual charger from the battery for some reason. So I got back to the manufacturer, as I said, and asked them the question. I said, what does this close charging, the charge, the, um, what was it called, this error message? I had to write this down, charge timeout close. Yeah, so it registered the charge timeout close as a fault. And I had no idea what that means. So I texted the manufacturer again in China and said, look, I'm getting this fault and uh, the BMS is beeping, but it's not turning off the charger when there is a cell in overvoltage. And he, kept, he got back to me within half an hour and said, well, the BMS does not turn off if only one cell goes into overcharge. The BMS will only turn off if the whole pack has an overcharge situation. I said, well, this is totally useless then. This is not protecting my battery. If there's one cell spiking or getting too low, it should turn off the load or, or the charger. It should disconnect all the power. It should protect the battery. That's what the BMS is for. But it doesn't do it. And I asked him about the charge timeout close as well. And he said, oh, have you had an overvoltage in one of the cells? I said, yes, I did. Well, that's all the information I got. I don't think he actually knew what this charge timeout close is for. Uh, anyway, in the new version of the app, this charge timeout close is not there anymore. In, in the list of errors the BMS could go in. I'm not convinced this BMS is actually working as a BMS should work. So, but as because this is my, my first BMS, I'm not sure if a BMS should turn off your load or your charger if you have an under voltage, so below 2.5, or an over voltage above 3.65 volt. Should it turn off everything? Should it protect the battery? I think it should. Otherwise, what is it for? If it is waiting for the whole pack to have an over voltage situation, I could have several cells of my battery being above the 3.65 volt and, and getting damaged. And the same with the under voltage. There could be several cells under 2.5 volts and, and the BMS is not protecting. And, and this for hours maybe, you know? For hours before the whole pack voltage drops below the uh, set threshold. And I also asked them for a manual of this BMS explaining all the functions, all the settings inside. Because there is so much to set up in the configuration. See here in the settings, I can set an over voltage. It says protection parameters. So I can set an over voltage per cell of 3.6 volts. That's what I have set it to. And an under voltage of 2.8. So I was expecting as a protection parameter, the BMS would turn off if we are over 3.6 or under 2.8, right? But there's also a pack over voltage to set here. So obviously the BMS only turns off if the voltage is higher than the whole, the whole pack voltage. And there's also a pack under voltage. These are the temperatures. Temperature is another thing. I'm getting, yeah, I'm, I'm getting three temperatures shown, but I don't know what these temperatures are for. Yeah, which temperature is this one? And obviously it has two internal temperature sensors as well. 
I don't know anything about these temperature sensors. And then I've got a charge over current set to 100 amps. And I also have a hardware over current protection set to 83 amps. So how does this work together? And then there's a hardware short circuit protection of 155 amps. I don't know how these parameters work. Well, and down here the capacity parameters are obviously to calculate the capacity on the main screen, which is uh, 181.92 ampere hours at the moment, but I'm not sure if this actually is true or not. And we've got two switches here, charging and discharging. They don't do anything. Even if I have the inverter running or have a load on the battery or charge the battery, I can turn them on and off. I can hear the relay clicking in the BMS, but the, um, the battery still gets charged or supplies power to the inverter. Even these are off and I could hear the click of the actual relay inside. So this is all totally confusing and apparently there's no manual for it. So which makes it really hard to understand what is going on with this with all these parameters here. This is the protection information. And we can see we've got a PEC under voltage of three times and a cell under voltage of two times. My PEC was never that low that we have an under voltage, never ever. And I certainly didn't have a cell over voltage three times since the last reset of the BMS, nothing. So all these parameters have now changed with a new app here. And I don't know what half of these parameters are for. I know I can recognize about 40-50% of all these settings, but everything else doesn't mean anything to me and I don't know what effect, what consequences it has if I change these settings. And so I'm, I'm pretty much unable to optimize the settings in the BMS at the moment and I'm, I'm not happy with this situation. I don't like this at all. So please leave your comments down below. How should the BMS work? Should it turn off your load if you have one cell over voltage or one cell under voltage? I think it should turn off. Protect your battery. Okay, so far this quick update here. I shall catch you in the next video, hopefully with some better news. As always guys, thanks for watching. Stay charged, stay safe and catch you in the next one. See you then, bye bye.